milestone today for a massive Civil War era genealogy project involving the records of newly freed slaves. Today, the LDS Church's Family Search handed over a searchable database it helped to organize to the new African American Museum of History and Culture in Washington, D.C. New specialist Sam Panrod is there tonight and reports on the significance of the Freedom Bureau records. <laughs> With a small memory drive filled with the names of 1.8 million African Americans from the 1860s, which contains the Index Freedmen's Bureau records, which we're now honored to give to Lonnie Bunch and the National Museum. Elder D. Todd Christofferson of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles formally handed over the indexed records to the new African American Museum of History and Culture. The handwritten records were compiled following the Civil War when slavery was abolished. For the past year, 25,000 volunteers from around the country of many faiths and backgrounds digitally indexed the records that now allows African Americans to easily search their family history online. Knowing your past, knowing something at least of your past and those who've gone before you, really gives you a sense of place and a sense of uh, who you are, but also, I think, a, a, a sense of responsibility to honor their legacy and their sacrifices. Having the Freedmen Bureau records digitized is another major step in preserving the history of those who are freed from slavery and is generating a lot of interest in Washington. History is important to the Congressional Black Caucus and so I think that this is an opportunity for, for them to really be involved and, and find out about their families and it's really exciting for them. Well the Freedmen Bureau records are now searchable online they will also play a critical role in the future here at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. We haven't been able to dig into the records to the depth that we've needed, and this project will make it possible. The Smithsonian has joined in the process uh, in terms of uh, sponsoring a project to have the records transcribed so that they can be researched even better than just by indexing. Family Search helped to facilitate the indexing effort and believes it opens the door to help many more families find their roots. Because of the Freedmen's Bureau project, today is a new day in African American genealogy. For years we've said that the records aren't available or we can't find our family in these records. We can today. And it's because of the Freedmen's Bureau project, the indexing done by thousands of volunteers that we can now move forward in our genealogy and connect our families. Preserving the past for future generations. Sam Penrod, KSL 5 News, Washington, D.C.